It's Ports of Call Waterfront Dining, award-winning service and cuisine with a view of the dynamic L.A. Harbor from every seat. For reservations and directions, visit portsofcalldining.com or call 310-833-3553. Welcome to another edition of Living Out Loud. I'm Barbara Venezia, and I'm here with my co-host, Renee Horsch. Hey, hey, hey. And Ben McDonald. Hello, everybody. Our social media expert. Yeah. Our yeah. trendsetter. Our trendsetter. Because, you know, I mean, Ben's an actor, producer, director, and he's educating us all about social media. That's why, because we, yeah, that's right, because that's Cause what we Because we are need. old farts. Because yeah. we're old, yeah. <laughs> But see, nobody knows we're old online. That's true, right? Because online you are kind of ageless. I like that, yeah. Yeah. But I would imagine, Ben, there are social media do's and don'ts. For sure. Yes. (laughs) Um, Start spilling. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, We want to hear the don'ts Yeah, yeah. The don'ts. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Don't post more than once a day. See, I told you that. I told you. (laughs) Except for Snapchat. Okay, because that is all instant. Yes, because Snapchat's like your vlog. It's like a daily vlog. It's like you're just going about your day, and it's only there for 24 hours. That's People- the part that I find sad, though. Like, e- like it only lasts for 24 hours, and then it just disappears. You can save so, like, it. Oh, you can. Oh, you can yeah, save okay. it. You can save it. Okay. So if I'm following you, let's say, on Snapchat, mm-hmm. but I actually have a job <laughs> and cannot go online all day long, yeah. <laughs> I can look at what you posted at night, or yeah. is it gone? No, you get 24 hours. Like what I do... Because like I have so many people on Snapchat, I, I can't sit there all day watching. Okay, so how many so many people? I actually deleted a lot of people. <gasps> I know. Really? Because I couldn't handle it. Because it's like, there's, so there's two things on Snapchat. You oh. can send each other snaps like privately. Like I could send you guys just snap. Okay. And only you can see it. Right. And they have a thing called your story. Okay. So your story is everyone who follows you gets to see that. Oh, so cool. So you're creating basically a reality show Wait. in real time. Right. Yeah. So... Your story, like at night, right before I go to bed, every night, it's like my thing. I just, I sit and I go through everyone's story. Really? Yeah. But you can't, like if I were to do it all day long, I'd be on my phone constantly watching these stories. So I just, at every night before bed, I just watch the story. Because you get 24 hours. So Uh if you do it, you know, the same time. So you can go back and follow the ones you want, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But... So Snapchat, you post all day long. Some days I post nothing. Some days I have 40 snaps. You know, you never know. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you don't don't want to be posting like crazy. Okay. It drives people nuts. Yeah, yes, and this is it what, does. This is what I was explaining to Barbara because I said, okay, like if she, she lives out in Las Vegas and also in Newport Beach. So if you're out in Vegas, let's say at a car show, or you know, and like you and Stan, you're like taking a picture of the morning at the car show, and then one in the afternoon, then you're at lunch, like on on Facebook, like people get irritated that you're at the same event and you've showed like five images right. from that same event. It's like you're only supposed to post like one, like that you were there. So and there that's is it. an etiquette, actually, for sure. Like you know, there's people who. Because like the other people like flood the 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 news feed, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and you know you see those people who take five selfies, right? Okay, like you're supposed to take twenty selfies, and you pick your best one to post. Some people oh, go, some okay. people post five of them, and you're like, really? <laughs> <laughs> like we saw this already. Yeah, right. you just a different angle, and <laughs> and if you just post one, you're more likely to get like you know. 100, 200 likes on one photo. But if you post five, you're not going to get people to click like, like, like right. on five different photos. Right. Well, you know what? I have unfollowed a few friends. Um, one friend in particular. No, I didn't unfriend them. I just unfollowed them because he goes to the gym. And I hope he's not listening. And in the gym, he just posts like picture after picture of him working Posing. on this machine, that machine, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, I know you're at the gym. Enough. And I. And you're right. I'm trying to scroll through and see other, other things. things. And, you know, so I just was like, oh. And then, of course, because it's political season. That's awful. Oh, my gosh. Oh, right? I, You know what? I am, you know, I'm a journalist and I cover politics in, in Orange County. And I am a big believer that you need to know what you're doing and you need to research your candidates and you need to be an educated consumer. But that does not mean you get your political news from Facebook. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and your idiot friends. And your memes. And, yeah. and so I think to myself. You know, why? I I don't care who you vote for. I just want you to vote and I just want you to pay attention. But I think then I see people, oh, I'm for this one, I'm for that one. And then they start fighting among themselves. Oh, yeah. And then I've had girlfriends call me and go, well, I'm I'm unfriending him. I'm tired of listening about his candidate and he's stupid. And so I think that 
I think that on social media, you should stay away from the politics thing. For sure. And Facebook has um, its own algorithm. Uh-huh. So, you know, you have 2,000 friends on Facebook. Yes. You're not going to see all 2,000 of those people's no. stuff. Facebook, like, picks out, like, your top 50, mm-hmm. and you're going to see those same people's stuff over and really? over. Right. So that's why a lot of times, like, yeah. when you go on there, you're always like, oh, I'm always seeing so Betty's stuff, yeah, but yeah. I right. never see this person who I met two years ago. It picks people that you interact with. Okay. And it's going to put it. So oh, if you start getting in fights with people that you don't agree with on politics, fun fact, you're going to keep seeing all their stuff. So oh. <laughs> sometimes you want to pick and choose your battles. Oh, that's good. I, good to know. That's good to right. know. Mm-hmm. So some right. of you really don't like, just don't even, just don't even respond or like don't even right. react. So yeah. like don't acknowledge because yeah. Facebook is going to go with who you interact oh. with. They're not reading your comments like, oh, you don't like this. You're, you're right. saying mean things to each other. They don't. They don't I, see that. I don't react to anything political. I just like when you put a picture of yourself or your animal. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. And I, all I do is really I just post my column weekly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see that. And yeah. for the podcast. Right. Oh, That's yeah. all I do. I don't really, you know, post what I'm doing. In a way, I feel, and maybe it's a generational thing, I feel it's a little invading my privacy. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it's like there's days, and you guys won't relate to this, but I just want to walk around in sneakers and sweats and no makeup and a ponytail. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I agree. Well, then why would you want to show yourself in, in that look? Because it's exactly. not a look that you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. no, you're editing your, yourself, which is smart. Yeah. And I think yeah. social media is like a facade. None okay. of it is real. Yeah. It, you, it, it, mine's smoke and mirrors. I mean, you see my posts. I only mine's just fun and <laughs> and happy things. I mean, it's like it's my right. work pretty much. But right. I yeah, you I, very I, rarely post like yeah. the sad or like yeah. boring right. things. Like it's a Friday night. I have no friends, right. so I'm just sitting watching at home, you know, doing Netflix nothing. by myself, yeah. <laughs> right? Baking You're, cookies. You know, you yeah. find a picture of you at a party three months ago and go throw back to this. But you know, you make it. Right. If you look at my Instagram, you probably think I'm at a photo shoot every single day. It's a, you know, it looks like, yeah. oh, look okay, I'm going to have to go to Ben's Instagram. He's, he's, got, he's got some good photos. So yeah, yeah. we know, so part of the do's is stay away from politics, obviously. <laughs> um, don't post on Facebook more than once a day, Facebook and Instagram, unless you're Snapchatting. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else that is a don't? I mean, you all, what you want, I mean, it depends on what your goals are. You know I mean? Okay. You want to, you want to, you want to push the envelope, but you don't want to offend people too much because right? what you put out there is out there. You can never take back what you put on the internet. Well, one of the things that's interesting that you just said is that you're creating this facade. Mm-hmm. So you're basically your own public relations person. Yeah, for okay? sure. You are director, yeah. Yep. And you're creating the life online that you don't necessarily have in real life. For sure. Like, I see so many people who, you look at their, I'm like, you're not doing that. That's not your life. That's not what you do. But you, with the, you know, with Photoshop and with Instagram and with just, you know, finding random photos, you can manipulate and you can make your image, quote unquote, your brand. It's almost like every person has become a brand. Yeah. And you can make it whatever you want. What I see making a brand makes sense for you because mm-hmm. you're an actor. Mm-hmm. So how do you take that, the persona that you've created, obviously with a lot of thought, right. and make that work for you and spill over into the casting and, you know, for modeling and for acting? Right. Well, like when you go to look at my Instagram, I don't just post like a random photo. You know, I make sure they're very clean, very crisp, very and, and on point on brand. You know, like right. I'm going to post photos of me on shoots. I'm going to post photos of me like on the red carpet or like doing things, things that wouldn't make sense. Like I'm not going to go post a photo like I'm at Whole Foods buying cookies, <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Uh-huh, yeah. You know, like that doesn't really yeah. fit. Yeah. People are going to be like, OK, that's okay. great. Like a casting director, they go to mind like, oh, you know, you're working, you're doing stuff like that. You they, you got to you're, you're showcasing your, your work. basically. So yeah. are, so do ca- do casting directors really take a look at that? Is that part of it? Because major. Yeah, it's, that's it's totally changing because okay. obviously it hasn't been around forever. Right. But now, you know, you used to submit your resume and your headshot, and that was your thing. Exactly. Now they're like, they go further. They're like, well, look at your social media. You know, do you use a lot of profanity? Are you reliable? Are you, you know, are you, what kind of personality do you have? Because, like, for instance, Disney. Okay. Disney's not going to want to hire someone who's posting half naked photos on Instagram every week. Right. It's true. True. Right. True. But or a party. It, it, I'm in yeah. a, you know, you're I'm like, drinking you're, here. You're, I'm drinking yeah. there. You're like, woo, I'm partying. Yeah. <laughs> the, Disney definitely would not want that. Right. Yeah. right. So they totally, and like, even in a lot of the castings, there's a lot of them where it's like, 
must have strong social media, must have, you know, really big well, you know, influence. Like, well, they look for that. What's really interesting in your, what we're speaking about, exactly, this is what, and you're going to laugh, you guys are both going to laugh, but my client, Joan Collins, uh-huh. who is obviously a very seasoned oh. professional. Let's pick right. up that name, too. Yeah, let's pick, pick up that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, um, then you, yep. you have to understand, he mentions her on every <laughs> single show. Well, she's, she's a big part of my life, so, she you know. Is, yeah, she's yeah. like his grandma. <laughs> yeah. No, but but here's the thing. So, so she's, you know, she still goes out for a lot of stuff right when she goes out for castings now because you know she still wants to be in the game and right. she still gets jobs and that, she's the, on that show right now. she's on the uh, the royals, the royals on the, you know, right. yeah she said that they now they're like the first thing that, that you know because it's all younger people that are casting her and stuff they're like the first thing they ask her is well, what's your social media following they're more and she's like well, what does that have to do with my acting and that that she's blown away by that because she came to Hollywood. Daryl Zanuck brought her, you know, here right. from Great Britain and be the rival of Elizabeth Taylor. They didn't right. have social media back then. It was about the talent and the work that they do. Well, times you know? have changed. Yeah, honey. so that's <laughs> no, but she's blown away. You know, that she's like she said, it has absolutely nothing to do with with my body of work. You know, so, so I would imagine that if a casting director sees that you are very savvy in social media and you have a clean profile for lack of a better word Mm -hmm. and you have a lot of followers that would help them too if you're in a production because then all your followers are going to be looking at your television show or the ad you run or whatever especially if it's like a lower budget film or an independent film Mm -hmm. or you know anything like that they're like oh you have an influence you know like you can get people to watch this you can get people talking about it so it's you know not as much for like the major studios because they have their own reputation but these other people who are making films if there's two actors, they're really both, they're good, they fit the part, they look amazing, their skills, one's got 100 followers, one's got 100,000, then you might go with 100,000 one. He can really? So it, that, it has that, that much impact now? Well, they can be like, okay, you can post about this and share it, and you're going to be doing, you're going to get people talking about this. And again, that's for like, you know, independent films, student films, you know. Right. Smaller stuff. productions, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. It is, but I mean, it kind of makes sense. But then on the flip side, it's like, but what if the guy that had a hundred followers is really actually the kick-ass a- actor, and the other one that has a hundred thousand? Well, he's good, but this one, like, you know what I mean? Like, right. So I just see in the I, breakdowns all the time. They'll yeah. be like, in bold, must have strong social media presence. Must have a social media presence. Must be strong. And sometimes they'll be specific. Must be strong on YouTube. Must be strong oh. on Instagram. Must be okay. Wow. So YouTube, they're including in that. In mm-hmm. the way of, and on YouTube, you're making your own videos and posting them. Mm-hmm. So it's a little different than Ben's the got a whole bunch of little really cool ones that we'll, we'll have to watch on okay. YouTube. Okay. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that amazes me that social media would make a difference between you and somebody else, and it's not about the talent. That's what's wild. You yeah. know, but then again, if you, for argument's sake, social media is a talent. It is. Yeah, it, it it's is. It's becoming a talent. Absolutely. Yeah. It's you becoming know? an art. It really is. Mm -hmm. And I can't believe that people, you know, I mean, I see all this Twitter stuff all day long from all the, you know, these celebrities and everything. I I know in my personal life, I don't have that kind of time to be, oh, let me take a picture of that. Oh, let me put this up. Uh, Is there now an employment space that's opening up where where I would hire somebody like Ben and they would just Twitter for me and Facebook for me? Most celebrities don't do their own social media. Yeah, they have a whole team of people that are taking photos or have stock photos of them or just you know they have a library and they're like let's post this. You know, there are some that will post or sometimes they do and some you know if they don't have time someone else does. There's someone on it all the time. It's very so. So this is so so you can make money now by posting for somebody mm-hmm. and the kardashians kind of started that trend oh really yeah, yeah on twitter they it used really to did, they right? started the sponsoring like you know this this much money and we'll we'll make a post because anything they post it goes big so what what do people who post for celebrities what do they make do they make it by the hour do they make it by the post it's i think they have like a salary it's like it's like a probably really? a, a flat mm-hmm. fee like if you're going to promote uh, Puma tennis shoes, then you know that Puma will like maybe cut you a check every month for X amount of dollars. Wow. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's like they have a marketing yep. team. So you can just sit mm-hmm. at home or sit this anywhere. What we need to do, Barbara? Come on, pad. right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh-huh. amazing to me. Well, and, you know, that can work for and against them. I remember in Newport Beach they have a team. The Visitor and Conference Bureau had a team of people, several people, that would Twitter for them. 
and when they had the Carmageddon, you know, and they closed down the freeway there for the weekend, and these idiots who nobody was paying attention to posted something that was really inappropriate. <laughs> oh, no way, really? Yes. Yeah. And then it became headlines in the local newspaper, and, you know, and it became quite scandalous. And then it raised the question of, well, you're hiring these young people to Twitter and post and all this social media. Who's watching them? Oh, who's overseeing them? Who's yeah, overseeing yeah. what they're placing on there? And, what, you know, I mean, I don't know what the true story was behind the scenes but somebody messed up in a big way and it was quite embarrassing for the visitor and conference bureau oh, yeah. so yeah so there are ups and downs yes there, there are yeah. and we are down to no time now in this segment so Ooh, all right. until next time thank you ben thank you renee thank you. and thank you for listening to living out loud Woo.